Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Seminoles and the Cavaliers are on the field as we take a look live inside the stadium. Both teams getting loose. Fans starting to fill in their seats as they await the battle for the Jefferson Epps Trophy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Comprised of a silver pitcher atop a wooden base, today's winner takes home the Jefferson Epps Trophy. And now let's head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Florida State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Receiving team. frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping that penalty really is going to set them back so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today tighten up, tighten up. the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation He gets to about the 24-yard line. You like that? You like that? From their own 24-yard line, it's first down. They come out in an empty backfield. You like that? He's you to like the 40. That? And he hits him hard at the 48. You like that? You like that? First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 31. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Looks to the back and can't connect. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball and it was incomplete. Nice 
nice run there as they work the outside. Randolph gains seven yards on that play. Third down. They're at the five. Third down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Zips it to the back, and they got him for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Virginia is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. it out to about the 36. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. Florida State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Aaron and out long. Picked off. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. Interference. Offense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 44. He flings it. And he's got it! The 10. Touchdown, FSU! He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 33. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Got his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete. He's got room to work, and he's taken down at the 42. backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab that makes it second and ten second down ten to go ball on the 42 yard line run here right side call it a gain of four yards that'll bring up third and six he guns it left side finds a man touchdown to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he tacks on the extra point so a seven play 67 yard drive and they put up seven points the score now 10-7 Virginia yet set to kick this one away he really got a hold of that kick He's to the 20. He's tackling at the 23. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Go, 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 
There's a strike like complete. That. He goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That makes it third and 15. out here tackle made around the 31 yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down cross is back deep to return the punt he's got the corner Tackle at the 45-yard line. Virginia is a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're, they're going to pull off an upset today. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the house. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 38-yard line, first down. Virginia holds a field goal lead. Here he goes. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Tremblay, ready to kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. Still first down. First and 15 now after the penalty. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 29-yard line, third down. Fires to the wideout, first down. Game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three 
He wants it all going long. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. So at the end of one, the Cavaliers lead 17-7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Hogan takes it left. He's tackled around the 10-yard line. Second and seven. Ten yards to the end zone. tries to buy some time makes the catch and look out and down he goes the seven yard line gets to about the five yard line Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defense stacked in tight here. Tackle right around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Let's go, Jack, let's go. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Brought down at the one-yard line. yard line it's second down touchdown Florida State <laughs> trying to get within a field goal they'll try the point after the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Florida State is ready to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. Down he goes at the 27. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Virginia is up by three. Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From their own 25-yard line. It's first down. Tackle after decent pickup.
Complete. He's got room. And they push him out right around the 50. First and 10. Ball on the 50 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Third down and they need to get it inside the 40. He's going to air it long. And he's got it. Touchdown saving tackle. Them with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Virginia has a three point lead. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. Across the 30. And they finally bring him down at the 44. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's off. check out the Could penalty. Receiving team. team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted yeah he's very lucky that ball was only tipped from their own 28 yard line it's third down fires out to his receiver he steps out at the 41 yard line first down throws right away they'll bring him down at the 32 that's a very nice relaxed delivery right there even in the face of the blitz he held his ground and made a perfect toss that's a big boost first down 10 yards to go ball in the 32 five wide going for it all to the end zone 
this one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. So that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with the big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Fires out to his wide out, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. five-yard line. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop around the yard line personal, personal foul, foul. Face, face mask, mask. Defense. defense so the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty from the 32 yard line first down in the shotgun and five wideouts. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 15-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Touchdown, Cavaliers! the extra point it was a five play 81 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brett I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow them down so the score now 31 14 they line up to kick this one away he's to the 10 he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 27 yard line The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Throws a bullet, and he's got it! He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. He scrambles, and he might want it all here, and does! Knocked down, incomplete. 
I think if he'd reached out a second later, the receiver would have caught the ball. That's perfect timing by the safety. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. Rolls right. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's hit immediately. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. down and he's out of bounds you know if you use him in this offense the right way it's almost it like you have an extra wide receiver he's that good six-yard line. Here he goes. Touchdown, FSU. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Virginia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He's in trouble. Throws this one out to the right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike, and he drops it. That squares the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception third down now and they need to get it inside the 45 quick pass and he shoved out of bounds at the 38 up and it's wide right no good
The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or if they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Throws it deep. Incomplete. We've still got a half of football remaining. Virginia's lead is nine. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful if you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Caught 
open field. Brought down at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. Dives forward. Davis picks up about seven yards on the scramble. And he just gets rid of it. third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and down he goes at the 30 yard line that's good for a gain of two yards that makes it fourth and inches It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drilled this one. He's to the 20, at the 30. And he just got stood up right there. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Throws into coverage, just picked off. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Good news, the guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. He fights forward to about the 16. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That makes it second and 10.
from the 16 yard line. Second down. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. They fall on it. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Going long. Drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 21. Has some daylight. He's out to the 30. The 50. To the 20. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Hill fields it at the two. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Virginia's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Randolph gets the carry. He gets hit out of bounds around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Got a man. Watch out here. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And they finally push him out at the 16. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. Fires quickly. Touchdown. point Tremblay has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep sends it sailing downfield he's to the 10 he makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 23. That'll bring up second and three. Taken down at the 40-yard line. Gain 17 yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check right. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. 
He's got the corner. He goes out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. downtown and it's picked off it's the safety and he is drilled at the 25 yard line this safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time it's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here from their own 25 yard line it's first down to the 40. Unbelievable. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Cavs. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. He's made a lot of mistakes up to this point. But you know what? He's got a track record. And, and I think, I believe personally in watching him, that he has the ability to turn this game around and to finally get into his rhythm and get this offense going. Tackle made the 42-yard line. He's going to go for the home run. Tipped away. Brad, this gives you an indication of his versatility. He's a physical linebacker that a lot of times is up trying to stuff the run, but he has ability to be able to make plays in space, and this time he climbs the ladder and knocks that ball away. From the 46-yard line, second down. He's hit and taken down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. quit just yet. They'll go for two in this situation. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He's got the two. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Tackle at the 17. Pick off return 15 yards. 
And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. And to be racking up stats against these guys and have his team in the lead makes it even more enjoyable. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. He's into the open field. He makes his way to about the 28. From their own 28-yard line, first down. Hands it to the back. Makes it out to about the 39. to the back brought down at the 50 but hold on we got a penalty on the play let's check it out holding, holding. Offense. offense bingo 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 still, still first, first down. down so it's first down and an eternity run to the outside a quarter to go and can they pull the upset Virginia's in front by 11 back in this very pivotal fourth quarter Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 44. A gain of eight on the carry. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 32. That's a loss of 12 yards on the play. Fourth down. Bryant is back awaiting the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Oh man, did he take a hit. The Seminoles have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. He's tackled at about the 49. He's rolling right, just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Griffith is in the quarterback. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49. There's a fumble. Scoops it up. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. 
Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. This one will fall incomplete. How did we drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? Drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete, almost picked off. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Tremblay is the punter. He's out to the 30. Room around the corner. He's tackled at the 38. Returns for a gain of 24 yards. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Pulls it in, and he could score. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He scrambled. Quick throw, incomplete. Water his receiver. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19. Quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. The five. Three. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. So the offense is going to go for two. And he's in for two. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time for an update from the Sunbelt Conference. The Eagles top it off with a seven-point win. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. We've seen this guy make some big plays for his team tonight. This guy is the total package. I mean, at times he has an understanding of sitting in the pocket and delivering the football, and then he knows when to pull it down and take off and run. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Virginia holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 32. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Hey, 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 check, check, check. 
He's at the 40. Crosses left. Intercepted. From the 40-yard line, first down. He chucks it downfield. Can't connect. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires incomplete, knocked away. That makes it second and ten. across the middle and down he goes right around the 18 yard line that makes it third and three up the middle for a nice game call it a gain of six yards first down Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's taken down around the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Now he tries to buy some time. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Steps out of bounds at the 13. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Florida State to kick this one off. Cross from the two. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Virginia's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. A loss of about six. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Second and 15. Ball on the 23. Kill, 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 kill. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they'll get him in the backfield. And they lose a couple there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Just under two minutes in the game. And 
he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Bryant is back deep to return. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. Bryant fields it at the 41. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He goes downtown. Doesn't get there. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. Get it out there on the toss. Nice run there. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Under a minute left in the game. Runs through a defender and he's in. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check out an old-school, hard-nosed, smash-mouth, Big Ten-style game. Minnesota gets the win, 34-31. And for FSU, with that final now in, they know they can move up in the polls if they pull out a victory today. You like that? You like that? Taylor, ready to kick. Cross from the three. Broke away from one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback and sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. We have less than a minute to go. Fires to his receiver, first down. He 
guns it. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gives it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. The spike will stop the clock. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down at the 34. They come out in an empty backfield. Caught over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 26. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Florida State 59, Virginia 48. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Florida State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.